Oh, also, before this video starts, I sold my soul to the content gods and made a TikTok account. I know. Cringe. I'll link it in the description if anyone wants to bully me on there. <sighs> Sorry. I need more views on my content. My bad. This is my review of the Microsoft IntelliMouse. So, this is a mouse I actually really did not expect to like as much as I do. It's a big, clunky ergo mouse. I hate big mice, I hate clunky mice, and I hate ergo mice. Because I fucking fingertip, which means I need something lightweight, and I need something that's pretty much as small as it can be so I can be as accurate as possible, and so I have as much range of motion as possible, which is why the Averchi's really fucking good for me. So I didn't expect the IntelliMouse to be something I'd really enjoy using, but surprisingly, it actually is really, really, really good for me to use. It feels incredibly comfortable in hand no matter what grip I try to use. So it's big enough for me to palm, which is extremely rare considering I have like 21 lo uh, centimeter long hands. And it feels good for me to claw, which I've literally never experienced with any other mouse in existence, including something with one of the best claw grip shapes in existence, the G Pro. And and uh, it it it's honestly just such a pleasant surprise. Like, I, I couldn't imagine any Ergo Mouse feeling this good in hand for me to use. Even something like uh, the Death Adder, the Steel Series Rival 310, any, like, classic Ergo shape, I typically hated. Because it just felt super clunky, it felt like my pinky didn't have anywhere to go. But with this, it actually feels really, really, really comfortable. And it does have a couple of small downsides, like... This doesn't really show up super well on camera. The front mouse button is sort of like flared out a little bit towards the front, and it feels almost like a, it feels like it's almost spherical. It's really weird. It's pretty uncomfortable in, uh, to hit in game, but it's like, it's really tactile to feel, I guess. So if like you move your thumb up to press the thumb button, you really notice it. Um, the back thumb button's really, really good. It has a really good shape, and it's in a really good spot, so you can just like move your thumb up in game to press it. The scroll wheel is, I actually like it a lot. Um, I like rubberized scroll wheels, and it has pretty light steps, which I do like, and it's overall pretty light. Something I don't like too much about this mouse are the clicks, because they don't really feel even, if that makes sense. The left mouse button feels a little bit snappier, whereas the right button mouse button feels a little bit more guttural, almost. It's really odd. Um, the feet are pretty good. I like the shape. Uh, they feel pretty good in pretty much every pad I've used. Uh... They feel good in, obviously, my Raiden, which is my main pad. Uh, I played it on a fucking SteelSeries QCK Limited on stream at one point with this mouse, and it actually felt really nice. And I also tried it on the Lethal Gaming Gear Mercury, which I have a pre-production sample of, as you guys could tell by the fact that I uploaded a re review of the pre-production sample, but whatever. And this mouse has actually felt really good on all the pads I've tried. And something else that actually really, really pleasantly surprised me about this mouse is that the cable does not actually feel that bad. I don't know if it's because the mouse is relatively heavy, and it... Like, the fact that it has a kind of stiff cable doesn't matter all too much. But it's actually, like, pretty thin, and it doesn't really feel that bad to use in-game. When, like, especially compared to, like, the abomination that is the fucking, uh, Scream 1, or even, like, the fucking Mira S. Like, I'd honestly say the cable on this is better than the cable on either of those two mice. Granted, it being better than the cable on the Scream 1 is not saying much, but better than the cable on the Mira S, it's actually pretty good. And honestly, I would say it's almost comparable to, like, the cable on the MM720. So it's really, really good overall. And also, it has a 3389. So this mouse really, it feels premium. It feels comfortable. It feels like a workhorse. If I play tag FPS as my main genre of game, this would be my main mouse. I can't really use it for something like Apex, and I can't use it for like tracking training in Kovacs or Aim Labs or whatever the fuck I'm playing, because it's a little bit clunky for that. But for precision and for like more stable movement, a mouse like this is actually really, really, really good. And it just overall feels really nice to use. I don't even feel like I lose that much speed when um, using something like this in-game. But in Kovacs, I kind of do feel like I'm losing a lot of my speed. So, overall, I'd honestly rate this like 7.4 out of 10, which, by my standards, is really good. And one other really good thing about th this mouse is the price. I believe it's around like $50, $55, which for something like this is really, really good. So, yeah, if you're in the market for, like, a larger Ergo Mouse, I think the IntelliMouse is actually your best bet. It feels really, really nice to use, and is really, really, really comfortable. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on the mouse. Here's some clips of me playing Kovacs.
So this mouse feels really, really stable in hand. I obviously am a lot slower with this than I am with the Orochi or with pretty much anything else to do its weight. But the weight and like a couple of very small things like the clicks uh, and the front mouse button are the only negative of this mouse. Pretty much everything else about it is fantastic. But despite the fact that I'm kind of slow with it, my precision feels a lot, a lot better due to its extremely comfortable shape. And, I mean, I am using a pretty fast mouse pad, and I'm not really used to using heavier mice in a mouse pad like this. I think it would be a little bit better suited towards uh, a more controlled pad like the uh, Lethal Gaming Gear Mercury, or like an Artisan Hien, or something like that. Well, not exactly control pads, but I think they would suit this pad a little bit better than something like a Raiden. But, despite the fact that it doesn't really synergize perfectly with my pad, it still feels really, really good to use. And the shape in my hand feels absolutely fantastic. Like... If you saw, right then I was fingertipping this mouse, and still, I was pretty fucking accurate. So overall, it's really, really, really good. And honestly, I might just... I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna keep this one. I'm not gonna, like, resell it or anything. And I'm definitely gonna probably be using this for whenever I play TAC FPS games, because it just feels so good for stability. But yeah, that's my review of the Microsoft IntelliMouse Pro. Overall, it's an extremely solid mouse, and honestly, probably my favorite ergo shape that I've ever used. And yeah, I'd rate it... Like I said, 7.4 out of 10, and overall, I am very, very pleasantly surprised with this mouse, especially the price point that it's at. 